This is a video demonstration of the newest DVR in, in the lineup at securitycamerking.com. This is the Velux Dual Codec DVR, Korean built unit, rack mountable, loop outs on every channel, records an MJPEG but streams an MPEG4. The problem with compression is the more you compress video, the more it degrades the quality of that video. So one of the solutions that you can have to that is to actually lower the compression of the recording and raise the compression of what you're streaming over the internet so you get nice fluid motion over the internet. This DVR has absolutely mastered that and it's a very easy to use unit and has some great features and it's a terrific value as well. So this unit basically all you have to do is you just log in. It's mouse operated. It's point and click. It also comes with a remote control if you so desire. And with this unit all of your setup is very easy to get to. Just point and click. All of your setup is here. Uh, one of the nice features about this unit is that it does have separate spot monitor settings. So you could configure an individual monitor to display a different sequence of cameras than what's on the main monitor. In addition to that, because there are loop outs on every channel, you could actually connect a spot monitor individually for each camera and locate them in different places of your business or your home. This unit has uh, watermarking, so therefore it can be used in court if you needed to prosecute somebody who perpetrated your business or your home. It records audio on four channels. In addition to that, uh, it has great motion sensing and one of the neat features that I really like about this unit is the fact that it has this motion trace option and motion trace basically what it does is when you turn it on you can tell what the DVR detects in motion for example we just watched somebody walking by here a second ago in this camera and now I'll go ahead and demonstrate how to actually search for uh, recorded video so we can go ahead and see that real quick so basically to search for recorded video all you're going to uh, here we go motion right now so as you can see this DVR the motion trace is working perfectly and it's letting you know that it sees motion right here now if I were to adjust the sensitivity I could actually lower or raise the sensitivity to a point that it does or does not detect the object so if there were a moving tree this would be a great way to test and make sure that I'm only getting motion triggers from events that I want to be triggered motion this will save you a lot of hard drive space and unnecessary recordings so since we've already seen that we'll go back into the settings again one more time and we'll take another look at some of the additional features of the unit. Uh, this unit has DDNS, it has built an email server so it can email you when events occur, whatever you may choose, whether it's uh, for motion, for video loss, uh, for hard drive failure, you can have it email you for any of those events. All your settings are easy to get to, you can set up multiple users to view over the internet and as you can see here the biggest benefit is the quality of video that you are getting out of this DVR is simply superb. Excellent quality video, very functional DVR, has all the features. If you really wanted something that gave you the best of all worlds, simple to use, simple to operate, but provides you with the best possible quality recorded video and good fluid streaming video, then this will be the unit for you.